All right, we're back here in studio. We got James Rame in the house and uh, Lake Brothers LLC.com. Lake Brothers LLC.com. Kind of a niche business, very unique business. And uh, James, welcome into the show. Welcome to the studio, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about how you came up with the uh, the idea and what Lake Brothers is all about. <clears throat> so, um, you know, I've been in this industry for about 15 years. Uh, I got my biology degree from UCF, and first job out of college was uh, Lake Management. Cool. And, um, you know, about a couple of years ago, I opened up uh, Lake Brothers LLC, and um, our office is in Safety Harbor. Uh, we manage anything that's freshwater resource, pretty much. Okay. Uh, public water bodies, HOAs, CDDs, golf courses, um, retention ponds. So uh, uh, there's aquatic weeds, algae uh, that need to be controlled most often on a monthly basis, and uh, uh, some ponds are harder than others. So there's different types of ma- management programs that we do offer. Yeah. So what, when you look at, uh, you know, for example, I, you know, I live on Lake Tarpon, so there's so many different types of species of weed and you see coming in there and it gets to a point where you can't operate your vessels. You can't operate your jet skis for sure. Cause the way they propel the water through and that's their uh, system that they run. Uh, talk to me about that. How, how does that work? How do you minimize that or, or how does that work? <clears throat> so Lake Tarpon and Lake Seminole are kind of a uh, little bit different water bodies. They're uh, public water bodies and they require FWC permits. So, um, the homeowner and I will get together and we'll uh, get a permit in place, and uh, FWC will identify the aquatic weeds that are non-native, and they'll issue a permit, now, and they'll tell us what type of herbicides, um, EPA-certified herbicides that we could use, and which species of plants that we can control. And uh, from there, then we typically come out on a monthly basis to control those weeds from overtaking and growing to a point to where you can't use your, your boat from the, um, in the lake. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Cause if you have, you know, I live, uh, you know, on the lake and I love getting out there and enjoying it, especially this time of year coming up, it's going to be that, you know, that boating season. So you mentioned you work with HOA. So that's homeowners association, CDDs. A lot of people don't even understand what that is. I'm in real estate. So I do, uh, but the, uh, the community development districts and, uh, golf courses as well. So those are, you know, municipal, more like uh, governing bodies for homeowners associations and, and neighborhoods. Uh, so you're looking for those types of contacts out there. Anybody in our audience that, uh, you know, maybe running an HOA, those are the types of people that you're looking for. Property managers, board members, um, golf course superintendents are uh, um, uh, great people to talk to. There you go. Yeah, I like that. Now, you mentioned you're also hiring as well. So your company's growing and, and you're hiring. Yeah, so if you like to be outdoors, um, be on boats, ATVs, uh, um, outdoors. <laughs> so it's it's hot out there, but um, sometimes it's it's great to be out in a different different environment, different lake every single day, and and um, helping improve water quality. So if um, those seems like something that you are interested in, and uh, we'll train you guys, and uh, you know we're we are hiring. Do you have a, a recent success story or, or situations where you've helped homeowners in the past? Yeah, it's not maybe not an individual success story, but yeah. um, so, so these are stormwater retention ponds, and as they get older, um, they become more impaired. Um, pollutants, heavy metals, nutrients that wash off inside the lakes, they accumulate over time. Um, so some lakes, uh, as they become so degraded, they they need what we term a lake restoration project. So that's getting in there and doing water quality analysis, dissolved oxygen profiles, and really figuring out the biology of what's going on inside that lake system. And then giving an individualized lake restoration program, which can include aeration, um, uh, probiotics, digestive enzymes, nutrient abatement, uh, living shorelines. Living shorelines are Florida native aquatic plants Hmm. that will plant within littoral zones to help filtrate the lake and provide um, habitat for fish and wildlife. And then um, usually these programs um, will result in you know, beautiful, beautiful and restored lakes without having to completely redo or re- redredge or uh, rebuild an entire um, yeah. lake. Yeah, it's a delicate balance, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it really is a delicate balance because you look at sometimes with the erosion that you see in certain areas. So uh, you can plant certain, you know, wildlife there and, and have it, uh, you know, where it minimizes that as well. Yeah. Very cool. How do you want people to connect with you? you got your website, you got social media too? Um, no social media, but uh, Lake Lake Brothers LLC dot com. Uh, that's a good way to get a hold of me. Okay. Um, you know, sh- shoot Lake, me an email. Lake Brothers LLC dot com. Submit an email form right there on the website. Lake Brothers LLC dot com. You can find James there. James Rame. Pleasure having you in, man. 
All right. Thank you. Hey, my pleasure. Well, hey, another great show. We had Thomas King, Florida Firearms Academy on, Dr. Scott Anderson as well, and also, of course, James here with Lake Brothers. And we want you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness, do something kind for one another, be a force for good in the community. And we greatly appreciate you supporting the show. Like and share this video. Share this video uh, with any of your friends uh, or family out there. Let them know about the Real Estate Quarterback Show, the Consumer Quarterback Show, and all of our 60-plus expert contributors. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. We'll see you next time. You've been listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. 